Hey guys, so today I'm going to actually attempt to do the axle seal again because last time, well in the one of the last videos, which I'm not sure if I'm going to put up yet, um, I actually attempted to do the axle seal but the axle wouldn't come up. So what I had to do is basically research another way to get that axle out. It's a brand new axle that I put in there. Um, unfortunately, it wouldn't come back out as easily as just using a pry bar. So I had to purchase a new tool just to kind of try taking it out. But I'm not 100% sure if it'll work because there's also another tool where you hook it up to a slide hammer and then you just try to hammer out the, the axle. So today I'm gonna to be trying this new tool that I purchased basically from uh, Amazon. I want to just get the tool out. So it comes in like two, it's basically like two forks. Uh, one with a wedge and one that's kind of flat. So it's going to go basically behind the axle and then you're going to hammer it and it's supposed to pop it out. Not 100% sure if it will work or not. It's worth a try. If this doesn't work, I'm probably going to have to get the other tool and and a slide hammer and try to go from there. Um, and also, after researching a lot, um, I realized that the axle seal shouldn't leak that much oil. Uh, for some reason, it was like really just pouring oil out. If I decide to put the other video out, you'll probably see the oil pour out. Um, so if it's a, a seal being damaged or something, it'll drip, but I don't believe that it should be pouring out like that. So it got me researching and thinking, oh, okay, well, that, that might be the wrong seal. So what happened was uh, I came across a bunch of forums and they actually talked about the 88 to 91 Civic axle seal was classified wrong in the Honda catalog. So the seal that, that it recommends you getting is actually for the ZC or the four wheel drive. So the, the part number is actually, let me see here, let me grab it. So I actually do have that seal right now. So the part number is actually, well, it's kind of reversed, um, but the last three digits is the B01. That's the wrong seal. As you notice that when you order the, the axle seals, the passenger side will have an A01, and that would actually be the correct seal. So I've actually ordered the A01 as well. Um, the difference is basically five millimeters of inner di diameter. So I think the A01 holds it closer uh, to the axle so it prevents the leaking. I'm, I've kind of looked it up and people have said that when they change to this, it stopped leaking. So what I'm gonna do is basically replace it with the A01 seal. Currently what's in the car is the B011. Um, and it's just pouring oil up. So I'm guessing the five millimeter in diameter difference, um, inner diameter difference makes that much of a difference. Uh, oil just keeps pouring out. So right now I'm just gonna go over basically everything again, pull off the, the axle and then get under there, pop the, ac the old axle out, I mean pull axle seal out and, and install the new one. So let's get to it. All right guys, so still the first step is to remove the axle nut while the car is still on the ground. So after you've removed the axle nut, you can actually start removing the, the lug nuts. Always make sure you support the vehicle with jack stands. All right, so the next thing what you're gonna do is you're going to remove, after you've got the axle nut and the wheel removed, you're going to remove this bolt here, which is a 14 millimeter bolt. Um, this bolt here for the fork, which is a 17 millimeter bolt, and two of these little bolts here, which are also 17 millimeter bolts on the 
the traction bar. Then you should be able to just slide the the axle right out. <clears throat> All right. So as you can see, those are disconnected, and the bottom um, bolt back there is also disconnected, and the fork's gone. So now all you have to do is hammer this inwards. Right to the right. And there goes the front. All right, there you go, axle got popped out. So when you get a stuck axle, this tool actually works. You wait, basically wedge it in like so, I, the lighting sucks, but down here, and you just hammer it, and it should pop the axle out. Uh, it's probably better if you had more room, but this tool does work. As you can see, it's still leaking quite a bit, so I'm gonna just position the oil pan underneath and pull the axle out. So what you do want is to get a clean bag so that you could put the transmission end of the axle into here so you don't get dirt on it. All right, I better move the camera. seal so big giant screwdriver should work or a big pry bar just be careful not to damage the, the transmission housing And it just comes right up just like that. There you go. So now we can just take a look at the difference between the seals. So here is the seal that I just pulled out. And this is the actual seal that I'm supposed to put in. So let's just pull that out of the packaging first. As you can see, there is quite a bit of a difference. The inner diameter for this one is much wider. They're both new seals. Obviously this one's probably useless now because they're once you pull it out, it if you damage it in any way, it can't really reuse them. Uh, still looks pretty good though, but you know, these are only a few bucks. So what you would do is you would uh, you would want to grease this up with some oil or some sort of grease. Um, other people have just used grease. So this the other seal went in with just engine oil, but I think I'll just use some grease and grease this up. Doesn't hurt. This is the type of grease I'm going to be using. 
It's just some sort of bearing grease. So what I'm going to be doing to install this is I'm going to use the old seal, put it on top, see it fits perfectly on top. And then I'm going to also use my 36 millimeter socket because it goes right around this one. Thirty-six millimeter socket, and then I'm going to hammer it with this on top of each other. So what I'm going to do is basically use the old seal as a guide to hammer the new seal in. This helps line it up, and you don't ends up preventing damage from your new to your new seal. So that's basically what I'm going to do. I'm going to hook up a extension to this so I get some leverage. So that's centered. Flip this one over. That's cool. And then you take this. So what you want to do is you want to make it so that the outside edge is flush with the transmission. So just light taps and check it. hard to get leverage. So as I'm doing this, I'll show you guys how it looks like. I don't know if you guys can see, but from under, whoa, let's shine some light there. And have the camera focus a little bit. As you can see, that's the old seal on top of the new seal. So what you want is that the front piece of the seal, right around the edge there, to be flush with the transmission. Yeah, that's that's a much clearer picture. You see, it's almost there, but not there yet. So I'm gonna continue working at this, and then I'll show you when it's done. All right, so that is what it should look like after it's done. Well, the light's really bad. Right there. So as you can see, it is flush with the transmission housing. Now all you have to do is reinstall the axle, fill it up with some transmission fluid and just see if it leaks okay so I'm just gonna do that right now so this is how the axle should be sitting you could just kind of pull it and hammer it in and out if you if you can't get it in uh, and the splines are lined up you can take a piece of wood and put it on the back of the boot here can't really see but put it on the back of the boot right around here there's an edge here and you could just take the piece of wood and hammer against the wood and it will press it in. So that looks like a pretty good seal there. Um, it doesn't look like it's leaking or anything uh, right now. So I'm going to clean this up and then I'm going to fill it up with some transmission fluid. Uh, well, tend to be 30. Um, it's always a good idea to, to try tend to be 30 first because MTF and all those other transmission fluids are quite expensive. So if you did have a leak like I did, um, then there goes all your <laughs> expensive fluid, while 10W30 is relatively cheap. Um, it's just regular convention motor oil. And that's what um, the manual says for to use on this transmission as well. Uh, and on some forums, people, people say, yeah, just use 10W30. Some people say use... Um, 
on the MTF. Uh, some people use synchro mesh. Uh, I don't know. It's up, I guess it's up to personal preference. Um, you'll have to do your research on that. Uh, I'm going to be running 10W30 for the time being, and then I might swap over to the Redline uh, MTF because it is compatible apparently, and uh, it's it's a it's kind of like a GM synchro mesh. So let's just get all this back together and top up the transmission and take a look and see if it's leaking. All right, so next you wanna top up the transmission fluid. And there is a fill bolt. So, uh, trying to focus this, get some lighting in here. All right, so the fill bolt is a 17 millimeter bolt that is right behind this axle. It's this nut right here. So the 17 millimeter, what you'll do is just loosen this up and then you'll put a funnel like that angles like 90 degrees and you'll fill it until this starts overflowing with fluid. Once it starts overflowing with fluid, um, then the transmission is full. Then you could just wait a little bit and cap it off so that all the, as much as the excess comes out, you don't want it to be over full, but you don't want it to be under full. Okay, so let's, let's just crack that bolt off. So this is the bolt that you need to get off. There's a aluminum washer on there. But you should replace that washer. I'm not going to because it is new. I've just been refilling and filling the transmission, uh, figuring out why it's leaking. So what I will be using is one of these kind of funnels because these are adjustable. I'm just gonna bend it like 90 degree like that and pop her in from the top. Like so. There we go. So, where's my light? So, that's where the funnel goes. And that's where the bolt is, too, if you want to take a look. Right there. And then, we've got one of these funnels. Yeah, it's a little cracked over there. I just kind of taped it up. It's not gonna impact much. Um, it's not gonna leak or anything. So, I would just pop that on top of that other one. Like so. And that's it. And then now you're just gonna fill it up until it starts leaking out of the bottom. And just like that, my transmission's already full. So, don't know if you can see the leak from the bottom here. But it was leaking, so it is full now. I'm just gonna put the bolt back, tighten it up, and it's good to go. Maybe use some brake clean to clean the area a little bit. So that's how you change your axle seal um, and your and refill your transmission. But if you were to drain your transmission fluid and reflush it, you will need to undo this this bolt here. Uh, that one is a three eighths wrench. Just pop the ratchet on there, and you can just crank it off. As you can see, you can see a couple drips going on. There it goes again. So it is full. All right, guys. So I did go down underneath the car. As you can see, I'm really dirty. Um, and I did inspect the axle seal again, and it is no longer leaking. So the solution is due to the, the wrong seal. So again, I'm, I'll take some pictures uh, right now. I'll take a video of uh, the seals that you're supposed to get. So if you have an 88 to 91 uh, Honda Civic, mm, SI or DX or whatever it is, make sure you, you try this seal before getting another one because it's, it's not due to scuffing the 
transmission housing or or damaging the seal or something like that you could have installed it completely correct but the it was just the wrong seal um right now it's completely sealed up zero leaks uh, i'm so happy i've been trying to figure this out for a while um but yeah i'll show you the the proper seals right now with the proper part numbers all right guys so these are the seals uh well obviously the seals already installed but this is my old one right here um, so this is the part number that you do not want. So if you're getting one from Honda, do not get this part number. Even if they recommend this one, do not get this one because this one is the wrong seal. It doesn't seal, it will leak. So it is 91205-PL3-B01. So that's the indicator, B01, not for your car. This here, however, is the right seal, 91205-PL3-B01. Dash A01. This seal actually works. So the difference between the seals is you could actually, well, this one doesn't have any letter on it, but this one says it is a 3556 uh, times 8. So this seal is actually a 40, 40, 56 and a by 8. So the difference is that this one is actually not going to hold onto your axle properly and it would just pour, pour oil out. Um, and it's a pain in the ass. So if you if you are looking for doing your axle seals on an 88 to 91 uh, cable transmission Civic, um, do not get this seal. Get this one. Alright guys, so that's basically it. It's a lot of work, but you know, if you have the right tools, it doesn't take that long to, to do. Let's get these safety goggles off. But yeah, thanks for watching and stay tuned for the next episode. Cheers.